Vice President Kamala Harris is expected to meet with a top member of Israel's war cabinet today at the White House. According to a White House official, Harris will reinforce the U.S.'s stance that Israel has the right to defend itself, but also pressing more needs to be done to protect civilians in Gaza. The meeting comes a day after the vice president spoke on the ongoing Israel-Hamas war during a speech in Selma, Alabama. She called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza, urging Hamas to accept a deal to pause the fighting for at least six weeks and release hostages taken during the October 7th attacks. A White House official saying Israel has accepted the framework of the deal and it's now up to Hamas to respond. In her speech, Harris also called on Israel to do more for the people in Gaza. People in Gaza are starving. The conditions are inhumane. And our common humanity compels us to act. And the Israeli government must do more to significantly increase the flow of aid. No excuses. The vice president's sharp criticism of Israel's humanitarian efforts came hours after the U.S. launched an airdrop of aid into Gaza and days after more than 100 people were killed converging on an aid convoy. Palestinian authorities say Israeli forces opened fire on the group, while Israeli officials say they were trampled in a stampede.